This has to be the most explosive thing that's came out on the Diddy case. And so you get these people in compromising situations. So Jesse Waters, longtime notable Fox anchor, is on the PBD podcast, which by the way, shout out to Patrick Bet David for having Waters on in this type of environment, like a podcast type of feel. This was a great guest to have. And they start with talking about how P. Diddy's bodyguard was like, yep, there was musicians there, there was princes there, there was politicians there. He also had a couple of preachers in there. Oh, damn. And then Pat kicks the story to Jesse Waters, and Jesse says what so many of us crazy tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists has been saying for years. It wasn't just this guy that was saying it. Lil Rod, the former producer, filed the lawsuit, and he said every room in Diddy's mansions were wired with cameras and he had some of the footage he had some of the pictures and he displayed those in the lawsuit that came out and this was used for blackmail material they would bring in these people a lot of these people were also aspiring young artists in the music industry and then these parties were sponsored by Motown Records CEO, Universal Records CEO. This goes all the way to the top. And so you get these people in compromising situations. The drinks were laced. Their videotapes were hot. And then at the end of the day, you wake up the next morning, oh, what did I do? And then they have compromising material on you. And then they can guide your career. They could kill your career, but they got you. And it wasn't just people in the music business. As you said, there were athletes, there were celebrities, there were politicians, people from the royal family. And we were also told by the former bodyguard that Diddy was an FBI informant. Whoa. So he was a snitch and was feeding information to the feds. And we don't know what that means. We haven't been able to confirm it. But even Little Rod said it's not just like Epstein. It could be worse. Remember that whole term that we're not allowed to say online? You're going to have to figure this one out. But aluminum Bugatti, obviously incredibly explosive. But what's interesting to me is that he said allegedly Diddy could be an FBI informant. And if that's the case, that whole thing that happened was staged. A lot of interesting things going on right now with him. I mean, here he is in Florida randomly after all that happened, he's just like smiling and shit. Down here at, at Pura Vida by my pad, run right. into the man right here. Uh. What's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. It's a movie. Almost like he made some type of deal. He's insulated, but everybody else, we're going to find out. The year of exposure and justice. God bless you and have a good day.